This is a video that I didn't want, I don't want to be making. I'm, I'm tricky on my last two videos. My, I put up a video that about uh, from Puerto Vallarta where I was anticipating going to a meetup. And I took that down because uh, it was cutting out and stuff like that. And I, my message, the message was to step outside of your comfort zone. So I went ahead and I made a video um, about getting outside your comfort zone and I used the example of my going to the meetup as an example of my doing that. I, I made it expecting that there was going to be another video made by the channel that held the meetup. Uh, but that didn't happen. And so by leaving my video up it looks like I'm going along with what happened and so I so, so where I, I don't really talk I don't talk about the meetup at all on my video I just use it as an example that I went and I went outside my comfort zone and and I still stand by going outside your comfort zone is a good thing to do and I'm still doing that by making this video I'm still going outside my comfort zone okay let me also preface this by saying my channel is small my channel is small this message is big this message is really really big and I have contacted the biggest channels, about five or so of the biggest channels that there are on this topic, on narcissistic abuse, this community here. And I'm hoping that at least one of them will, will uh, feature this story because it, it is a really important story. And otherwise, um, otherwise the story, you know, I, I don't have the reach to get it out there and also uh, those of you watching my channel, if my channel runs into a bunch of problems after this happens, you'll know why. It is about protecting yourself from the people that you listen to. Listening to your own inner guidance system and forgiving yourself for mistakes and moving on. So at one point in, the, in one of those videos, I made, I made a point of that, you know, you need to let people in. You do. You need to let people in. You need to try things. I don't regret going out and trying things but you have to be discerning and you have to be able to change things up in the minute if you if you figure out that you're not in the right place well this happened at this meetup I would say immediately I had some red flags going up pretty pretty severe red flags going up it was a small group not very many people came it was I think there was a total of uh, four American women came and a British couple came and, um, and then I was there with my husband, uh, already in Puerto Vallarta, and just uh, coordinated coming to be part, you know, coming to hook up, you know, be part of it while, since I was there. And there were two YouTube creators that were, it appeared to be doing it somewhat together, or they were friends or whatever. But, um, Kim Wilson was the main person. Um, who was David DeMars and but anyway it, it, it you know she had uploaded a video of uh, picking him up at the airport she was just had been seeing his praises for many many videos in a row and just really up talking to this guy and his channel grew really fast and and together the two of them have um, many times many times the subscribers that I have this my my channel is not a big threat to them but I I still have 7,000 people that are listening to me and so I care about that and I care about I care I need to say something and I, I need to do all that I can do I need to do all that I can do and so I've contacted bigger channels and I need to make this message and if my channel disappears or if you start seeing that I have tons of thumbs downs or if you start seeing random people making all kinds of negative weird comments you'll know that I'm being attacked by these people because I have come to discover that that's this kind of stuff that they do. These were vulnerable people. Vulnerable people who had been abused, who were relatively new in their recovery. I mean, like, you know, some of them were still with the people, some of them were like actively in, involved in their lives, still with the abusers, and 
Um, one person in particular had just, she just had her experience just ended just six months ago. Okay. Young woman traveling alone. She, she was just really threatened, really threatened and really intimidated and a bunch of really inappropriate things were said to her and all this stuff by this person who was posing as a life coach who is clearly uh, disordered in some way. From what I saw and what I, from what I, what I've been told and what I believe, what I absolutely believe is true. And by the way, Kim also believes it's true or, or pretended to because she was going on and on and on about how terrible this is and what needs to happen and how, what a violation, blah, 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 and they did nothing. When I watched what she did, you know, I told her I would support her if she came out and set, separated herself from this other channel, said, you know, I, I was wrong, I made a mistake, you know, I can't support this channel anymore and here's why. And I said I would stand behind her if she did that. And I was stunned and amazed and so disappointed when I saw the video that she put up because she didn't mention his name at all. She mentioned me barely, and then she just went on and on about what, how, about friendship. It was such a sham. It was a complete and sh total sham because if anyone was not friendly, it was Kim. Because the way that she treated this poor woman was not friendly. She keep talking about all this great friendship and stuff, and I don't know what she's talking about because people that I'm in contact with that went to this thing would never in a million years go back, won't aren't watching your channel anymore, are, they uh, sadly distance themselves from YouTube completely, feel more alone and isolated than ever. They feel really betrayed and I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all for feeling betrayed. It was really an awful thing because, you know, here's the thing. I got, I got what Kim was doing and I thought it was a really great thing to put herself out there and to, you know, try and have this event. And I, you know, I wanted to participate in it because I wanted to support her in doing that. And I will say that with the other people, with the other people that came, I do have friendships. I mean, I did actually, after this whole th terrible thing happened, in figuring out what we were gonna do about it, I came to really care about them. And I, and I believe that they trust me. But the meetup itself was a fiasco. It was not safe and there was a lot about these YouTube creators that the thing that really, really bothered me was that once this thing happened and this poor woman came there and had this terrible thing that went on for two days with this crazy guy who's now, even while he's doing that, he's there in his room making video, uploading videos, trying to answer people's questions. And here's the thing that I know. I know we want to be right. I know how much we want to be right. And so anyone that watches those channels, if you're watching this, you're not going to want to believe me. Because you're going to, you're going to, you go, oh no, I, I, you know, I followed that. I followed those people for a year or two years. You know, I, I, I go to, I, I, they've given me counseling services, whatever. I paid them money. And once you're invested like that, you want to be right about it. You don't want to be wrong because it's a huge betrayal and you don't want to be duped and it, nobody wants that. I tell it, it's just like, it's just like when you try and you try and go tell somebody about the, the abuse you, you, you experience and no one believes you. I totally get it. I don't expect a great big response here about how anyone's going to go, oh my God, you know, thank God for telling me. I don't, I know that's not going to happen. That's why I resent, I kind of resent the position I'm in because there's nothing good from this to come to me. This can really only, you know, only be bad for me. You know, it's like, I didn't need this. I went there to support Kim, you know, support Kim, to make a friend, to, you know, be friendly. And also because I was thinking, you know, I'm moving to Mexico. That was possibly, could be the place I'm going to go. And then I would maybe have a friend there. You know, that was seriously what I was thinking when I went. And I can say that I knew probably within 20 minutes of meeting her that that wasn't going to happen, that we were not going to be friends. And then after this happened, I wouldn't trust her with anything because she, she is willing to sacrifice the truth. She's willing to sacrifice people that trusted her, people that she's responsible for. She's willing to sacrifice their well-being to not admit she's wrong, which is that, who does that sound like? And to, you know, protect whatever whatever thing she's got going on there, whatever, you know, if it's, 
if she's concerned about money she's making, if she's concerned about, you know, I tried to, you know, I tried to say, you know, I really believe that now that this thing's happened, the very best thing you can do is just come out and be honest about it and separate yourself from him and you're going to be fine, but that's not what she's done. And so there, what well, I have no choice. I mean, my, my choices were to either do nothing and then I'm in, in which case I am doing something, you, you know, you, you can't, there is no not communicating, right? I'm communicating something. If I say nothing, I am communicating, I'm enabling it. I'm enabling what happened. And so what this essentially was, was that whether she, and, and Kim actually said she saw red flags, and then once this all came out, she basically started talking about things that she knew about that he was doing. And so definitely, it, had I been in her shoes, I would have known he was a problematic person because he had problematic behaviors even before this was happening. And frankly, so did she. And, and admitted those because I don't think she re recognized that they were problematic. I'm not sure. At some point, uh, I'll share this whole story about what happened. It didn't happen to me. So I, I'll say that. It didn't happen to me. Uh, at the meetup, by the way, <laughs> here's one thing. Everyone that came never got together one time. Uh, there was a predator invited in and told, and told to vulnerable people that this is someone you can trust. I vouch for him. And then he abused somebody. And she knew about it. And did nothing. After, after promoting his channel, after building his channel up. And I just think that's absolutely wrong. And I did not expect that she would do nothing. I expected that her saying something was a given was a given and you know what she never took responsibility she kept saying she kept talking to the group about what we're gonna do because you know the group doesn't have to do anything these poor victims don't have to do anything they came there because they trusted you you were responsible you invited this guy here you vouched for him definitely she was responsible you know i knew about their sort of uh, marketing agreement because i was offered i was offered to do something the same you know, the same kind of thing, and, and because I don't charge for any of my services, I don't, you know, I don't charge anything, I couldn't really justify that kind of a cost, you know, incurring that kind of a cost to get someone else to promote my channel. And so, and I, you know, I basically kind of also really expected when you're, your thing you're doing is this, you know, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm, um, you know, selling something. I mean, we're talking about, we're talking about life here, you know, we're talking about life and, you know, right and wrong and, you know, things like that. That's what we're talking about here. And so um, I just really hoped and believed that that most of us were in it for the, 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 most of us real point was we just wanted to spread the word about this problem. We just wanted people to know about narcissistic abuse. We just wanted to help victims to heal. And we just wanted to get people to be aware of what this thing was, be able to identify it. You know, that's what I, you know, for, for, to me, the bigger people got, the more people that came on here, I was the, I was happy about it because that meant we were closer to my, my goal, my personal goal was that we could spread the word about narcissistic abuse. It wasn't about my personal gain, it wasn't about how many subscribers I have, it wasn't about any of that. I'm not scared of Kim, Kim and David, I'm not scared of them, they can't, you know, how can, how could they, you know, what are you going to take from me? You know what I mean? I mean? That has already been taken. You know what I mean? There's just there's no there's no threat they have over me. So you know, but but I can tell you what, if I didn't speak up and I and I compromised my integrity, and I and I was part of what's happening there. I was and I was involved with you know not saying something and knowing that someone was an abuser and then someone else gets harmed and they're going to they are going to because. It was a clear sign that he's, um, you know, not stable, not stable at all. Uh, and so, you know, he is a threat and he's a danger. And oh, I, I would have to say Kim is too, because she willing to sacrifice the truth, willing to sacrifice people for what she wants. It's just ended up being um, really kind of a nightmare, really kind of a nightmare. and. I've got the guts to say something, so I'm saying something. I couldn't live with myself any other way. And so, you know, if my channel goes down in a ball of flames, I'm sorry people whose fun will it lasted. 
you know, but as long as I'm here, you can trust me to tell you the truth. And the truth is that there are people on YouTube who are putting themselves out there as pillars of the community and as healers that are dangerous, that are threats, that are unhealed. And, you know, it is really tricky. It is really, really tricky because you can't use credentials as a, as a, as a, a measuring stick because a lot of us have gone to the PhDs and all that and they didn't know anything about personality disorders. It isn't credentials necessarily. That you, you know, so it really, is, it really is hard to know. But here's the thing. It's okay to try people out. It's okay to, you know, subscribe to every channel, or watch every channel and figure out which ones you like best. But don't get so invested that you can't you can't back up and change your mind. You got to try out lots of people, but then you got to fire them quickly. So our problem with like the abusers we were with in our past wasn't that we got involved with them. Lots of people got involved with them. Lots of people knew them, but other people didn't stick around for the abuse. Okay? And so I was wrong too. You know, I was wrong too, but the difference is is that I knew within a few minutes that I wasn't going to get involved any, any further with this with these people. This is an outspoken woman, really outspoken. She was really outspoken about a lot of things. And so the fact that she's trying to you know play coy now and not be, not be outspoken and act like she doesn't want to poke the bear now is a little bit of a sham because she is right in your face with all kinds of crazy stuff. And the fact that she's not coming out and, and saying something about this is a total sham. Especially because she was firing off emails left and right about what, you know, about everything that was wrong about this guy after this happened, you know. And with her, it was clearly, you know, people are either wonderful or awful. You know, it's like, you know, it, it didn't seem like there's any middle road when it came to how, 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 how either of them felt about people. And, and they were both having all kinds of conflicts with all kinds of other channels and all kinds of problems with other people. And that was a red flag for me, for me as well. And that, which is why I'm actually counting on myself, you know, just becoming one of the many people that they have problems with. Because anyone that speaks out against them, you know, becomes like a focus of a smear campaign or something and gets all kinds of their attention. And this, they spend lots and lots of time on doing stuff like that, which I did not know until they, they basically told me all about it at this thing. And I was really stunned. And, and, and the channels that, you know, they'll focus on are, you know, small channels, you know, inconsequential, no reason to be giving all kinds of energy, and yet they do. So um, I, expect that, I expect that I am probably just setting myself up for tons of that uh, to happen to me too. But, you know, I'm not gonna be intimidated into being silent and letting an abuser out there, you know, Kim says, not on my watch. Yeah, exactly on her watch. No, not on my watch. <laughs> not on my watch. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video and actually tell you exactly what happened. Um, uh, but I'm actually saving that right now to, to try and, try and uh, be able to tell it on a, a, to a really bigger audience. Um, because the poor woman that, that it happened to, it's painful for her to hear it and she doesn't want it, you know. So I'd really love, like to tell it one time and so I'd like to do that on a bigger channel. Um, but if, you know, if no one will bring me on, then I'll tell it on this channel. At least 7,000 of you will know <laughs> what happened, and you can spread the word. Um, but anyway, that's, that's the story, you guys. I'm sorry to have, have that bad news, but um, if you feel cheated and you feel tricked or you feel, uh, you know, I'm sorry, you should feel cheated and tricked, but don't feel stupid. Don't feel stupid. Don't feel like, oh, my God, my judgment's so bad. Everybody's is. Everybody says, how, could, how would you know? You don't know to expect something like this. You don't know. Nobody could have known. Don't get down on yourself. Don't get down on me because you, you want to believe that it was true, that, that, you know, that, that, that it's not true, that you couldn't have been wrong about them. It's, you know, of course, who would ever expect it, you know? Who would ever expect that that kind of thing would happen, that someone would be putting themselves out there that would then turn a ride around and do do this kind of thing it's you know kind of unbelievable so anyway I'm sorry to have to be passing along bad news um, but I you know I had to had to tell you the truth about the meetup and I also hope that this doesn't mean the end of meetups I hope that this doesn't mean I hope this doesn't mean that you know people won't really 
try and get together and do things do things in the future because I, I the premise of the idea of it really was good the idea of it really was good because I do think that we need to come out of isolation and we do need to make friends and, and all that stuff but when you do that first of all first of all first of all I think that there's something a little bit inherently dangerous about promoting people unless you're for any reason other than you really believe in what they're doing that's the only reason to promote people so that was inherently a flaw already so there's all this promotion going on you know she admitted later that she she knew things about him she knew things about him for some reason or another she knew some things about him and still brought him on board maybe she didn't know these behaviors were problematic in which case it just goes to show that that, that isn't a person that's in any position to be counseling people because these behaviors definitely were problematic and they were red flags and I would have seen it a million miles away and I think he would have too. First she tried to play the whole, you know, that she got played thing by him but can't stop herself from talking. She talked enough to let it out of the bag that she knew plenty to have known he was a problem. And also when they left my house, she left him, she left, she left, she went home and left the two of them alone and, and that I already saw was a problem as well. I, 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 I thought that this woman was in harm's way even at my house and I um, but I didn't think she would, they all left together and so I didn't think that I didn't think that you know that they, they came with protector all around really bad situation that got that could have been prevented would have should could have easily been prevented and okay so there was so many steps along the way it could have easily been prevented but say it wasn't prevented say it still happened then it could it could easily have been at least modified or rectified or or stopped and it's just been allowed to just continue here we are like we're like a week or a week and a half or so after it's happened and nothing's been said and you know i think that um in her in her estimation just that she the fact that she stopped singing his praises you know making this big like promotion of him was going to be enough well people aren't going to put that together they're going to put two and two together she need to come right out and say what he did you know come right out and say i made a mistake i can no longer promote this channel and here's why and the fact that she's not willing to do that and in fact her her position was i'm doing what's right for me so apparently what's right for her is to um go along with you know letting people you know setting people up to be abused and that's you know not right for me and it's not right and I would be enabling that if I said nothing so I'm saying something and so I'm really sorry about it I'm really sorry about it because together collectively they have uh, almost 40,000 people that are listening to their channels and um, you know that's a lot of people and uh, but uh, those of us that have met them know something a little bit more and um, it's not good thanks a lot for listening and I am um, again I'm sorry I'm sorry to be delivering this bad news I really wish that I wasn't I really do I it would have been much more appropriate well a it would have been much better if it didn't happen at all it would be great if I could be saying what a great time we had that would be great but given that it would be much better if if Kim was the one saying it and I was just standing behind her that would have been that that really would have been so much better um, but unfortunately that isn't how it is so I'm a standing out here saying the story myself because I am the only one that was there with the channel who was not one of the one of the people participating in the abuse so that's what I'm presented with so that's what I have to work with and that's what I'm doing that's where I am all right, you guys, thanks so much for listening. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye. Oh,